Hey, this is Ryan, and welcome to my tu video tutorial on how to use Adobe Premiere Pro. Adobe Premiere Pro is a professional and timeline-based video editing software, and uh, with the program we're able to create and edit footage into phenomenal and professional-looking films. So this is where you'll use, where you can get your footage from your cameras and then make it into this great, this great, this big, great stuff, like great movies. And to get to Premiere, you're gonna, you can go to your launch pad, and scroll on over and then find it here right there you can also go to finder and then go to your applications and find it within them I believe it's up here one of the other Adobe stuff in here I don't know somewhere around there <laughs> in the applications or you can just go to your search bar and then type in Adobe and then just like PRE should get you to it Premiere it's gonna open up with this bouncing and this great graphic it should take a little. It might take a little bit longer for you to load. Thought I've been opening it for a while recently. Um, you're not gonna have anything here. I just have one there because I was working on this tutorial. I'm gonna start from the beginning again though. Okay, this is the after you click new project. This is the point at which you're gonna find out about how your whole video is. So this is gonna be HD. You're definitely gonna want it to be HD. So you're gonna go make sure this is on HDV or HD video. And none of this else really matters to you right now. And you're going to name it. I'm going to name this one Tutorial. Because that is what I'm... Whoop. Misspelled it. That is what I'm doing. Uh, this is where you can choose where it goes. If you got to browse, you can choose where you want this to be saved. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and continue. I have an overwrite because I already have one named Tutorial. Now this is a very confusing uh, part about your new sequence. You don't need to do anything here. Don't do... Don't change this. Just hit Cancel. Don't even hit OK. Uh, I'll tell you why in a minute. So now you're in, you're in Adobe Premiere. You're into the uh, heart of the program without any footage. Okay, that was strange. A little bit of lag. Now to import your footage, you're gonna go File, Import, and then you can find it here. So if you have saved your video on your desktop, you would find it here. Um, I'm actually gonna turn this down so I don't have this really loud sound going through my ears because I used Photo Booth to premiere to record my stuff. So here's my recording, and um, you can click and drag it in there, which I'm going to do, but you can also reveal it in Finder, so you can find out where all these are found. So it's like they're in the Pictures folder. This is where all your uh, stuff from Photobooth is saved, and this is the one, because I already highlighted that I clicked on. I'm just going to drag this one in too, because this is the other one that I use. So it's going to say Import Files, and that nonsense. So now it's in there. It's in your project uh, group. So this is where all your footage goes, and it's in stored, like all your general footage that you're not actually using in the video. Um, so now, the reason we made no sequence is because we're going to make our sequence now, based off of whatever your video is. So if I hit new sequence from clip, it'll create its, all se its whole sequence just, just for me. And so the reason we do this is because if you have video from your phone, and or video and video from your computer, is it ne needs to be different settings or else it's going to look all wonky and strange because your phone has different sizes and dimensions from your computer and such. Uh, so we created a scene from whatever the footage is so we have no messed up uh, settings. Anyway, um, so this orange bit shows how, much t how many times the video has been used. So if I throw the exact same clip on top again, now if I go over it, it's been used twice. I'm actually going to get rid of that using the backspace button or delete. And then to get the other footage in, I'm just gonna click it and drag it on. So now I've got my my videos imported. Um, and so basically a sequence is everything. The sequence is where everything kind of goes together. So this is all one sequence here um, of me just messing around, giving a tutorial. Now I'm going to go in about layering, layering your footage. You can actually set layers of footage. This is how they mute footage and such. So if I drag my video on this and my movie my movie down. So the, here are the layers actually here. If you want to see them, they're in the bars. They're uh, sideways. And I believe it's horizontal actually. That's what a good way to say it. That's horizontal. Um, so it's on video 2 and audio is on audio 2. But this is on audio 1 and it's just separated. But if you play it, it still looks and sounds the same. By, by, by the way, this is where you can see the sound is being played in that black bit over there. 
No. I believe that. I believe so. So now, if you want to set um, quietness, or not quietness, I'm sorry, but um, audio not to be played. So I don't want any audio here. I don't want anyone to hear what I'm saying at this point. Okay, I was actually wrong about the black bar. Um, but when you play it, now that this is set, pfft, well, I'm dumb. Okay. I was right up at the black bar. I knew that I had to use. Okay, I muted the wrong one. Audio 2 is now muted, so there's no sound on me on clip 2 with audio 2 or anything with audio 2. So if I, I can actually move. Oh, whoopsie. I believe I can single it out. Pfft, no, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to get in depth about that. Anyway, now it's not being heard. You can't hear that file. You can't hear that anymore. As you see from the black on the right, it's not moving. As this one, it is moving. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back in. You can do the same with this one. Uh, black's not moving. You could also do the same with video, where you have a completely black screen. So if I set the eyeball to be off, look at that. Now I have no video for the, anything on this layer, on on this bar, this horizontal bar of footage. But I still do above. Now you can do the same with here. And by the way, this still has audio. So now that I've got this removed, I still hear this. I just don't hear, I just don't see this. And I could, of course, set it to where it's off, but you, or that means, that'd be pointless though, unless you were trying to have a strange black sequence of just nothing happening. Not a sequence, I guess, just a time where nothing is happening on the screen. Um, so that's layering. Uh, thank you for watching my tutorial about layering footage, creating new scenes, new sequences, and opening Adobe Premiere. Well, this has been Ryan, signing out. I can't stop.